Yeah, you know it. Chilling here at the office. You know what I'm about to do, though? It's kind of cold outside. Some people are like, dude, 28 degrees ain't cold. It is for Alabama, fool. We ain't got snow shovels in Alabama. Are you kidding me? I'm from New York. We got snow plows in New York. We're prepared for this kind of shit. New York, you got it. Even though New York sucks. So glad I don't live in New York anymore. Alabama ain't got it. Alabama doesn't even salt their roads, you know what I'm saying? Because we're not prepared for cold weather, ice, snow, shit like that. Anyhow, it's time for uh, adrenaline. Yeah. Yo, say hey to the big play. What up? That's the big play, man. He's my good luck charm. 300 milligrams of caffeine. We're getting ready to train. We ain't screwing around today. We got back, back, shoulders. All right, guys, so I'm on Fintel. And uh, you guys should definitely maybe pay a little more, invest in Fintel because it gives you some great insider info on what to expect with whatever that ticker is that you're invested in. AMC, DWAC, Tesla, everything, man. This freaking thing is loaded with information. So I'm, I'm checking out DWAC. I want to see where the short interest is. You know, are they starting to pounce on this thing pretty heavy now that it's starting to you know, decline in value, which typically that's what happens. Once the Wolverines, you know, they sense blood in the water, what do they do, man? They pounce on it. So short interest is going higher on DWAC. What does that mean though? Is that a good thing? Does that mean we can pounce on it? We, you know, we can fight back. The apes come around and we get it to squeeze. No, that's not what that means. The short interest right now is 2,500,000 shares. That's what's being shorted. The actual interest of the float, though, is only 7.78%. Let's compare that to AMC really fast. Now, keep in mind, there are only 30 million shares of AMC. When you have only 30 million shares of AMC, 22,500,000 of those shares being shorted. All right, that's a pretty big percentage. So let's pick AMC out of the water, which, by the way, today, market is open. DWAC holding at $40. Let's go ahead and see really quick. Say hello, what up? Yeah, he's a freaking rock star. I got another rock star in the corner over there. She don't wanna she don't wanna show her face today though. Alright, here we go. Told you guys if we fell below $45, we would then hit 39. And if we fall below the 39, if we can't hold the 39, we then will go to 36, 35.50. So it's holding. DWAC right now is at 41.14, baby. Yeah. Telling me it's a pump and dump. So what? It's getting pounced on because we have higher short interest, which means, yeah, you can short the stock yesterday. You could have shorted the stock the day prior. You could have made some money. Now, though, if you short this stock, you're probably going to get locked out. Okay. Not wise to short. DWAC is at 4102. Uh, 4102. I'm sorry. Let's go to AMC. AMC getting shorted heavily at 38.27. Real, real, real heavy shorting on AMC. Let's go to the AMC short interest and see if it's increased at all. Um, all right, so still 95 million shares that we they want to tell you. 95 million shares shorted. Short interest is 18.45%. <clears throat> Pretty awesome considering the past week, week and a half, AMC's gotten the shit shorted out of it. So uh, I like seeing the 95 million. You guys realize that number has not budged in a freaking year? Literally, in a freaking year. Now, dark pool short volume ratio is 56%. Dark pool shares shorted. This is basically share shorted in the dark pool. Over 8 million. What they don't tell you is FTDs. Failure to deliver synthetics. The illegal shit. Where's that number at? That's what they don't tell you. Of course, nobody's going to tell you that. You have to kind of come up with that on your own. You know what I'm saying? What is an FTD or what is a synthetic share? Uh, what is naked shorting? That Those are all the reasons that everybody's in AMC. So... Basically, naked shorting is like uh, you have a one vehicle, you have one car title, but you can go ahead and photocopy that car title 50 times and try to sell that vehicle off 50 times. Whereas there is really only one vehicle, the other 49 are fake, the other 49 are synthetic. 
So at some point though, somebody has to pay up and they have to uh, vouch for those synthetics. All right, so that's what everybody's waiting on. Does anybody have a real number on those? Nobody does. Nobody knows 100%. Is it 500 million? Some people want to think they're taking the actual float, which is 600 million, and they multiply it by five. And they're like, well, let's say they do have five synthetics per every one legal or for every one that is considered legit. Some people are even up in the, what did somebody tell me the other day? Something like five billion synthetics. I'm like, where'd you even get that number? Five billion. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that far out there. But anyhow, me personally, because I'm just down to earth, always has, you know, I'm going to come up with a, a much more grounded number. And in my mind, if you have 95 million on the books shorted, then I would say the entire float is probably naked shorted. So you have another 600 million. I would say very fair, 600 million on top of the 100 million basically that it's showing. Total would be 700 million that would have to cover, um, that is causing who knows what kind of chaos behind the scenes right now, what kind of bleeding and freaking hell for these short, uh, for these hedge funds. But anyway, the legit information is on Fintel if you guys want to see it. What does that say though? That tells you this. It tells you that nobody, now you have new short positions covering. Who gives a shit? We want to look at the whole though, the 95 million, not budged. All right. You also want to look at the short interest of the float, which is 18%. If anything, it continues to creep up a little bit, which is cool because you already know it's being shorted heavily right now as we speak. Um, as far as DWAC goes, DWAC still has investors paying it some really good attention because they're afraid that news could break at any moment. That's why this thing isn't going to continue to just crush like everybody's like, oh, now it's going to $9. It's not going to do that because there's too many people that have learned from that 175 and they want to keep their money in for the very next ride up. You don't want to be stuck having to chase this thing up just like me. That's why I continue to invest in DWAC. The last thing I want to do is be that guy that's not in for the next huge hit. Which is, you know, I mean, come on. Like, Trump's not going to run in 2024? Are you kidding me right now? Like, a Trump's not going to run in 2024, okay? Um, the merger, as far as the merger goes um, with the CPAC, some of you dudes are like, hey, man, you said it was going to happen in the first quarter. Okay, Truth Social has already been announced that they're planning on launching it um, first quarter. I said possibly by second quarter you could see the merge. Just because Truth Social launches the first quarter, that doesn't mean the merge is going to happen with the CPAC. That doesn't mean DWAC is going to convert to TMTG. Okay, that could last till the end of 2022 for all we know. Okay, all I'm saying is when it finally does merge, it solidifies it. It legitimizes it because right right now some people are like, oh, it's never even going to merge. It's never going to happen. It's going to be DWAC until it goes bankrupt because Trump is, uh, he's been bankrupt in companies since 92, you know, everybody wants to throw that negative freaking FUD out there. Uh, it doesn't really matter though, because again, DWAC, Truth Social, all this money that's being dumped into it, um, when it finally does come to fruition and then you have Trump running for office, you are holding a lottery ticket that's going to be worth five, six, seven hundred freaking dollars as long as they don't do crazy shit with the flow, okay? We, we need to stay within that 30 million share flow, which I believe we will, even if we've talked about this. It goes to 100 million, 150 million, Trump controls 70%. doesn't really matter. You're back down to the 30 million share flow. This is great for us because he wants to control 70% of the stock. I love that. That's how Trump is. He's the freaking man, all right? And that way, things don't get out of whack for him, and any, he can control in any direction, up or down, because he owns 70%. All right, guys, that's it. I got to get to training. I'm taking my Fedrin. Got my caffeine right here. The gym phone's blowing up and nobody's answering it. Say hasta la vista, baby. Y'all have an awesome day, Dozer Warrior. Out. Shaboom. Peace.